All right, fam, so this actually does not come by surprise. Let's see exactly what's going on. Someone did mention um, medications coming in at it. Even with tomatoes, this is not usual. I mean, I know we be low over here in my parts of New Jersey, but. Family, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you all are doing well. We're going to jump right into today's video. Um, definitely this would affect some of you guys and plenty of more. So this is Shauna and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments With Us. You guys, check in. Let us know where you're watching from and how you are doing. Getting right to it. We have another store closure. Oh my. We've seen so many stores basically close down um in the past two years in anything so if you shop at your beloved save a lot they are losing stores as we speak so here's one a long time western new york store closes its doors so shoppers across western new york got a bit of a shock so they were shocked when a long running store closes doors over the weekend just like that gone and we've seen it with businesses you know, back to back to back. So if issues with the save a lot. So save a lot, save a lot, save a lot. If you shop at save a lot, there's some major concerns with that one. Lancaster, New York. Um, they went ahead and they closed their doors over the weekend. Um, they announced on their Facebook page that they closed the store on August 31st, a week earlier than they had planned. So here's they notice it says. It is with a heavy heart that we have changed our closing date. We regret to inform you that we will be permanently closing the doors this Saturday, August 31st. We want to thank the residents of Lancaster for all their support over the past 22 years. And it was a pleasure to serve the community. Please visit our nearest location at the corner of French and Union in West Seneca? I could be saying that wrong, y'all. Mm -hmm. So there have been some rumors that a Dash or other grocery store could move into the area where Save A Lot is, but nothing has yet been confirmed. So one Save A Lot is gone over the weekend, but there's plenty more. Customer saying the whole neighborhood depends on this store and then boom, closing just like that. There was another Save A Lot that recently closed down in the past few months over in the Buffalo area. Um, a lot of, of the residents are concerned because they're saying that's the most affordable store to, to actually shop at in that area. And to go somewhere else is definitely taking them out of their way, which is a concern for a lot of people who, act, who loses a store in their community. You know, it's about the convenience and if you can afford it. And then if you can't afford it, um, you have to go out your way. Guess what? You still got to spend money on gas to go out your way to find another affordable um place to shop and then when you do that the amount of money that you possibly can be spending on gas is still going to add up to the money that you could have spent at the store right up the street um so yeah it's like definitely <laughs> definitely losing both ways um but it does yeah i gonna hear the kids just a little bit um but it does continue to push customers customers to do what shop online i know the reality he loved blippy mm -hmm. so the reality of it all people are being pushed to shop online keep you at home shop online mm -mm -mm. and that's what it is so save a lot save a lot close down earlier than expected they actually was supposed to shut down september 9th um it says save a lot on the x city for money aim it closures wow i guess they was doing a um some type of fundraiser kind of thing but it didn't help because that one in buffalo still shut down how do you guys feel about that do you all shop at save a lot i haven't been at a save a lot in a, like maybe a year and a half last time i've been to a save a lot y'all that thing was expensive it was expensive so it was not really worth the trip to me here's why it's always important to keep some cash on hand Dealing with inflated prices, people not being able to pay their rent, pay their bills, basically get by. Here's a scam that some customers of Chase actually came up with, and it affected a whole lot of Chase 
customers in the end. So <clears throat> if you were affected and you don't know why, here's why, here's what happened, and here's what Chase is doing about it. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. If you're new and you find yourself enjoying today's video, all you have to do is subscribe. You guys don't forget to like and drop in a comment by checking in. And if you're still shy, drop an emoji so I know you've been here. Let's go. So a viral Chase Bank glitch leave many people with negative balances and account holds. Y'all, that's crazy. So think twice before you run to your nearest Chase Bank, they say it. Um, to attempt a glitch. So I say to read, check fraud, because a few people are reeling from the consequences. So the glitch is simply either depositing fake checks for large sums of money, which aren't immediately flagged, allowing people to then withdraw the money or see it in their account immediately or applying for large loans. So obviously, Chase caught on quick. People attempting to exploit are now being hit with seven, wow, seven day holds or extreme negative balances, some reportedly in the tens of thousands. So yeah, that, that's the glitch. Um, so many people are actually lined up here at this, um, let's, let's click on it. I don't see how people actually thought that this was going to work. People are actually sitting here depositing, um, fake checks and then guess what it worked for some but then it comes back to get you and then it affects other customers because now all of chase customers had to suffer the consequences of this here scam that's the importance of definitely um keeping cash on hand you never know what can happen they did catch on and then they was like, um, excuse me, you might want to stick to spending money that you actually have. I wonder if these people are actually going to be hit with fines, go to jail. Like, what, what's going to happen? What are the consequences behind this? So, yeah, if you guys have had that negative balance and still, you know, having issues with your Chase bank account, that's why people are definitely trying to get over there. Um, and with the times we in, there's no excuse. We know there's no excuse. People are trying to do any and everything to make way. But that there, yeah, if we ain't got it, we ain't got it at this point. We ain't got it. That's it. Definitely going to be changing up a lot of their regulations and stuff. <clears throat> you know, you have access to a certain amount of money when you put that check in your account. <clears throat> you might have to wait that now. What? whatever, two to three business days um, until that check clear to have access to any of it. And I know Bank of America, they do that sometimes. So yeah, that, that really sucks. So it's definitely important to keep some cash on hand. All right, so thank you all for tuning in into today's video. How do you guys feel about that one? What should be the consequences? What y'all think? Um, <clears throat> how did the system not detect a fraudulent check though? That's crazy. That means that it's so easy for other people, hackers, scammers, whatever, to go ahead and do some things to anyone's account if the system can't detect a fraudulent check.